Well, we have what's surely going to be a thrilling game in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The anticipation is palpable. Thanks for joining us at the Emirates on Derby Day in North London. Sue Smith is here with me, Guy Mowbray, bringing you live commentary on this famous game. It's the Gunners and the Lilywhites, Arsenal v Spurs. Well, we all know the rivalry, don't we, between these two sides. There's only a handful of players that have played for both. And I think this is going to be a tight game. It's so difficult to predict this one. This is how Arsenal line up. Aaron Ramsdale is in goal. Ben White plays with Alexander Zinchenko as fullbacks. Gabriel Martinelli starts with Bukayo Saka out wide. And leading the attack is Eddie Nketiah. This is the Spurs starting lineup. Son Heung Min starts with Dejan Kulusevski in the wide positions. And the main man in attack is Richarlison. Madison. Arsenal regaining possession. No free kick, not yet. Advantage played. Kai Havertz. Son's ability to finish and his link-up play make him the perfect strike partner. Is he going to play a prominent role in this game? Yeah, what form he's been in to score three goals in his last... Richarlison! And the ball is still alive! And he's caught that to perfection! Crisp, clean and top, top quality. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about making sure you anticipate what could happen. It's a good shot towards the far post. The goalkeeper manages to get something on it, but it's brilliant how he reacts and what a fantastic finish. And the game restarts with the score 1-0. Gabriel. Here's Zinchenko. Son Hyung Min. Untidy in possession. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Alexander Zinchenko. Well read to gain possession. Kulusevski. And played in deep, back post. And the defence tidies up nicely. Space to attack here for Spurs. Well, it looked inviting, but nobody wanted it. On to Rice. Saka. Played to White. Bakayo Saka. Pedro Porro. Very quick to close down. Odogi. And a good tackle results in a throw in. Kulusevski. Pat Matasar. Arsenal come away with the ball. On to Rice. Martin Erdegaard. Switched on and ready to intercept there.
Madison. On to Rice. On to Odegaard. Not long until half-time now, and Spurs have the lead. Not much in it, though. Yeah, it's been a decent first half, Guy, and I think they'll be the happier going in at the break, even if it is a narrow lead. They'll certainly be looking to extend that in the second period, though. Martinelli. And Ketia. Having a try. Excellent working goal there. Well saved. James Madison. That's a fantastic steal. Now to push forward. Well, he's lost the ball, and any chance has gone. And that brings to a close the first half at the Emirates. Well, he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. What have you made of his performance, Sue? Yeah, he's had a really productive first half. He'd give his side the lead with a tidy finish, but it's his all-round play that's been so good too. Hopefully we'll see more of that in the second half. So the second half begins with Arsenal looking to bounce back. That's good, strong play. Anticipated, really well won. Oh, he didn't get that right. There could be punishment coming. And the referee has gone to his pocket for the card. It's a yellow all day long. It's a good decision by the ref. He had a really good view of the challenge, too. Substitution for Tottenham Hotspur. Coming off the pitch. Nicely played. Havertz. Body in the way. Good work. This to level it. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, it's the first chance that they've had in a while and the crowd are sensing this is a great opportunity. They're really getting behind them. They decide against putting it in. Using his strength well. And they go again with another corner. Number 10, James Madison. A short corner taken. Martinelli under a bit of pressure here Son Havertz Martinelli and the ball back with Spurs now
Saliba. A good advantage played by the ref. Kai Havertz. Martinelli. That's a lovely cut inside. And still the chance might come. And that's a nice, easy catch from a disappointing ball in. Well, they could get caught out on the break here. And that ultimately has come to nothing. Gabriel. Played into the penalty area. And there's another one. Valuable breathing space for them now. Well, let's take a look at this again. The cross is great. It's difficult to defend, but it's all about can someone get on the end of it? And then through on goal, he decides to go for power. Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. And you have to say it was a good finish. And the game restarts with the score 2-0. Gabriel. Martinelli. A promising looking attack from Spurs. Martinelli. Havertz. Erdegaard. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. Now there could be a chance to counter. In behind. Can he finish? Oh, what a save. Well, he's a class goalkeeper and he showed it there with that save. Over it comes, and he's got it away, denying a goal. Alexander Zinchenko could take things forward a notch here. Wasteful from Arsenal. Spurs recovering possession well. Son Hyung Min. The ball is lost, and the chance has gone too. Time to think and finish. Oh my goodness! He's caught that so well. It's a goal of real class. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging for someone to get on the end of it and then what about the finish catches it so sweetly we probably could have had two keepers in there i'm not sure that would have mattered ball rolling again and if there were any depths they're surely settled now Havertz. Onto Rice. Saliba. Played to White. And the ball back with Ramsdale. William Saliba. Now Saka. Played to White. William Saliba. There is the final whistle, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who take the three points. Well, that was an emphatic result, wasn't it? They looked so confident in attack. Every time they went forward, you thought they were going to score. I'm sure they'll be pleased with that. 
Well, as we know, he can be a real handful, and he's certainly been that today. Well, it wasn't just his effort and his endeavor that I was impressed with. We've seen the quality as well. Neat finish and the right results.